Hi, this is Adrian with Cisco TAC. I will be presenting a video on configurations in CUCM for Secure LDAP Directory and Secure LDAP Authentication. This slide shows the steps for configuring CUCM for Secure LDAP Directory and Secure LDAP Authentication. Step 1. Verify that LDAPS is enabled on the AD server. Start the Active Directory Administration tool LDP EXE on the AD server. On the connection menu, click Connect. Type the FQDN of the LDAP server, type 636 as the port number, and click OK. The root DSE information should print in the right pane, indicating a successful connection. Repeat this procedure for port 3269. Step 2. Obtain the root and any intermediate certificates that are part of the LDAPS certificate and install these as Tomcat Trust certificates on each of the CUCM nodes in your cluster. Go to the OS administration page of the CUCM publisher, upload the root certificate as a Tomcat Trust, Upload the intermediate certificate as a Tomcat Trust. Repeat this for each CUCM sub and each IMP node in the cluster. Then restart Cisco Tomcat from the CLI of each of the nodes. Additionally, for the CUCM cluster, restart DirSync on the publisher from the serviceability page. Step 3. Configure LDAP TLS connection from CUCM to AD server for LDAP directory using port 636. Go to the CUCM administration system LDAP directory section. Type the FQDN of the LDAP server. Specify the LDAP port as 636 as the port number and check the box for use TLS. Step 4. Configure LDAP TLS connection from CUCM to AD server for LDAP authentication using port 3269. Go to LDAP authentication, type the FQDN of the LDAP server, specify the LDAP port as 3269, and check the box for use TLS. If you have Jabber clients, it is recommended to use port 3269 for LDAP authentication, since Jabber timeout for login may occur if a secure connection to the global catalog server is not specified. Step 5. If you have UC services configured that point to Active Directory, configure these UC services to use port 636 or 3269 with TLS. Go to CUCM Administration, User Management, User Settings, UC Service. Find Directory Service that points to Active Directory. Type the FQDN of the AD server. Specify the port as 636 or 3269 and protocol as TLS. Hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching.